if you do events, right, uh, do you charge half of the money up front and half of the money afterwards? Do you charge all of the money up front or do you charge all of the money afterwards? And also when you do photo sessions, do you charge the money up front afterwards or how does it go? I'm here to tell you as I've been, been a photographer for the last 10 years, I'm here to show you um, what I've done um, as far as clients go and as far as clients uh, paying me for my services. So first, I will talk about events. Uh, when clients book me for events, um, clients have to pay, this is all in a contract, clients have to pay the whole amount um, a week prior to the event. So let me explain. They, a client can go ahead and you know separate my services um, for $250. They can, they can put a deposit down as little as $250. I used to have a $500 deposit, but I brought it down to $250 just to make it easier for everyone to go ahead and put a deposit on their event. Um, so again, when customers will give me a deposit, and most of the time, guys, trust me, the customers are giving a lot more money than the 250 uh, deposit there is. They usually leave them 500, 1,000 anyways, because they want to owe you less money on the other side of it anyways. Um, now, I know photographers that charge half up front and half once the work is done. Um, I don't like that model, I don't like that way, and I will tell you why. Um, I like to get all my money up front, and that is because once the event is done, guys, once all the excitement and all the, the crazy, the hyper excitement and everything that's going around for that event, I don't wanna be asking the customer for money, you know, a couple of weeks or months after the event, after her, their post-production is done. Um, I want to get the customer while they're still excited uh, about their event, while their event is still upcoming, it's still, um, it's something that they have in their mind, it's something that they want to get done, it's something that they want to do. Um, so I like to go ahead and roll with that excitement uh, with customers wanting to do everything and everything for their event and pay all the vendors um, at their venue or at their weddings or whatever events they are. So one would say, you know, what if a client says, because I've had clients say this to me, what if a client says, well, why should I pay you all the money up front if you haven't delivered me my photography or my video or you haven't delivered me the album uh, that has been promised to me? Um, this, is, this is customer speaking, right? I've been doing this for 10 years. This is customer speaking. Well, you know, shouldn't I give you half of the money up front and pay you the other half when I get my album and when I get my video and when I get my photos? It's a good argument and it's a good question. Uh, but for me, when a customer or a client uh, brings that up, I simply tell them, I totally understand, but that's what contracts are for, right? We have a contract uh, which we have agreed to provide photography and video, excuse me, photography and videography, cinematography for you, um, and you will be getting this video, or you will be getting a highlight video, and you will be getting this album, you know, a, a, a crystal album, or a, a metal album, or whatever it is, uh, this size, or you'll be getting this print, this size, um, or you'll be getting your photos in a custom USB, uh, or whatnot. So all of this, Mr. Customer, is all in the contract. So that is, so that is your, that is your, um, that is your proof of what the vendor and the photographer um, is going to have to provide you. So most of the time, guys, when I tell them that and I tell them about contracts, 90% of the times you're not gonna have a problem. 90% of the times, as long as you put everything in writing, the customer will feel comfortable and they'll go ahead and give you a deposit or give you all the money that they need to give you up front. So again, I just don't like to chase a customer around after the fact, after the set, the wedding is all said and done. I don't wanna be you know, uh, talking to them about money or having them bring money before I give them their work. I just, I don't wanna talk about money anymore. Once that subject is brought 
uh, in the beginning, once that subject has come up and we've talked about it and we've uh, come up on the price and everything, you know, I want them to go ahead and pay for the, the services up front and I'll go ahead and provide them with everything that, that's in the contract. And I'll tell them, I will tell them, uh, look, Mr. Customer, you guys paid the DJ up front. You guys paid the hall up front. You guys paid um, the, the decorator up front. You guys paid and so forth and so on. And that is correct. But customers will say, yeah, well, I paid them up front um, and they came and did their thing, but a photographer still owes me, owes me photography and owes me an album and owes me my video or whatever it is. And that's understandable. But also, Mr. Customer, Prior to your DJ coming or your decorator coming or your hall being available, you had to pay a contract and you had to, I'm sorry, you had to make a contract and you had to go ahead and pay for the hall in advance or pay for the DJ in advance. So you also made contracts with them. They didn't give you their work right off the bat. You waited for them to show up to the venue and to do what they had to do because everything was in an agreement. Well, a photographer to me is the same thing. Uh, I tell the customers the same thing. Look, uh, we're no different. We're a vendor just like everybody else. And, you know, that's why the money um, is required up front. I have to be honest with you guys. I've been doing this for 10 years. And the reason why it has stayed like that, I know some photographers charge half up front, half uh, on the back end once their work, uh, the customer's work is done. Um, and that's totally fine if that works for them or works for you. For me, getting the money up front has been the best uh, policy for my business. You know, whenever you can get money up front for anything or from anybody and you own a business, uh, that's what you want to do. You want to try to get as much money um, as you can up front because the life of a small business, the life of your photography business is, is as much cash or money as, as you can get. Um, so again, I just, you know, I don't want to put up with you looking for someone to pay me my back end and I just don't want to deal with that. And the reason why I've ran with that and I don't change that is because 90% of customers don't have a problem with that. 90% of customers, if they really want to book you, if they really want to book you, which is what happens with us, when they see your work, when they see your photos, when they see your video, they're there for a reason. They're there because they want to. They want to. They want to book you. You know. And if they're gonna book you, you have your policies, right? That they have to adhere by. Uh, so that's all it is. You know. And again, because it's normally not a problem, I have not had to change that or tweak it um, since I've been in business. Um, and and that's just the way it is. So for me, all the money is due up front. They can put a deposit, they can make payments on it, as long as everything is in-house uh, by the week of uh, prior to the event. So that's how that works. And as far as photo sessions work, y'all, photo sessions, now it's a little different. Photo sessions, is, you know, it's not such a crazy ordeal as an event. So photo sessions, uh, customers can give a deposit up, they can uh, give a deposit up front, um, and they can pay the rest at the photo session. I, I don't mind doing that. Now I don't, I don't get the money on the back end. I get it as late as I get it is during the photo session or after the photo session, I should say. Uh, and usually 90% of the time, you know, you tell a customer up front, uh, you know, it's X amount of dollars, you know, please, um, you know, either bring the amount to the park with you or, or, you know, if you're gonna put it on, 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 a, on a cash app or a credit card, you know, you kind of instruct the customer on what to do. And 90% of the time when you do show up uh, to that photo session at the beach or at the park, usually nine times out of 10, the customer is the one that's going ahead and reaching for the money um, right after the photo session is over. So you normally uh, don't even have to remind the customer, hey, I'm here, pay me you know, um, cause they usually will go ahead and pay you anyway. So photo sessions, again, um, uh, they can put a deposit, they can put a small deposit to, to save the date, uh, to save their, their session, and they can go ahead uh, and pay the rest of the money um, the day of the photo session, just after we do the shoot. Um, so that's the way that I work. 
Um, I know again, some photographers might vary, some photographers might be different, but I'm telling you guys what's kind of worked with me and, and the way that is um, the way that it's worked and the way we've kept it. Um, and that's the way that we do it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, just giving you guys another insight on all the little things that you need to consider about being self-employed uh, and little things like having those conversations about money and deposits and hey, what, um, when do I have to pay you? And when do I get my stuff? Um, you know, I'm kind of just giving you guys an idea um, of what types of conversations you can look to uh, be having with your clients and future clients. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Guys, thank you so much. You guys are making this channel grow little by little. Uh, we're growing and I thank you guys so much. Uh, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys watching it and subscribing, and that means a ton to me. I would love to give you guys more knowledge and more knowledge and more knowledge, but you guys have to help us out, and please consider subscribing. Uh, like